The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number one and two. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded August 10th, 1973, in Paris, France. Translation Arjuna said, O oh my dear Krishna, I wish to know about Prakriti, nature, Purusha, the enjoyer, and the field and the knower of the field, and of knowledge and the end of knowledge. The Blessed Lord then said, This body, O son of Kunti, is called the field, and one who knows this body is called the knower of the field. Prakriti Purushan Chaiva Chetra Chetra Bhame Vacha Etat Vedikam Michami Gyanam Gyanam Jakir this is the special prerogative of human being that he can understand the nature, this cosmic manifestation, and the enjoyer of the nature, and he can be fully conversant about uh, what is the object of knowledge, gyam. Uh, there are three things, gyam, gyata, and gyan. The object of knowledge, the knower is called uh, gyata. The object of knowledge is called gyam. And the process by which one can understand that is called gyan, knowledge. As soon as we speak of knowledge, there must be three things. The object of knowledge, the person who is trying to know, and the process by which the object of knowledge is achieved. So, uh, some of them, just like the materialist scientists, they are simply trying to know the prakriti. So, but they do not know the purusha. Prakriti means the enjoyer, and purusha means the enjoyer. Actually, enjoyer is Krishna. He is the original Purusha. That is admitted by uh, Arjuna. Purusham Shasatam. He was the uh, original enjoyer. Purusha. Krishna is the enjoyer. And every one of us, the living entities, uh, and the uh, prakriti, nature, everything is to be enjoyed by Krishna. That is Krishna's. Another purusha, we living entities, we are not purusha, we are also prakriti. Uh, we are to be enjoyed, but in this material condition, we are trying to be purusha, enjoy. That means when the prakriti or the living entities uh, wants to become uh, purusha, that is material condition. If a old man tries to become a man, as it is unnatural. Similarly, when the living entities he is by nature to be enjoyed, huh? the example as you have given several times, that this finger uh, captures some nice 
full stop. But actually the fingers are not in there. The fingers can help the real enjoy, namely the stomach. It can pick up some nice food stuff and put it to the mouth, and when it goes to the stomach, the real enjoy, then all the prakritis, all the parts of the body, all the length of the body, they feel satisfied. So the anger is the stomach, not any part of the body. There is a story in Hitopada, from which the Isaac's family is translated. There, there is a story, Udarendriyāna, Udara, Udara means this, bell. And Indriya means the senses. So there is a story of Yudharandriyana. The senses, uh, all the senses met together in the meeting. They said that we are watching senses. Why do you know? We are watching, the leg says, yes, I am whole day I am watching. The hand says, yes, I am watching, whole day, wherever the body says, you come here and I pick up the food and uh, bringing things, I cooking, I am cooking also. Uh, then the eyes, they say that I am seeing. Uh, every link, uh, link of the body, they made a strike, and no more we are going to work only for the stomach, we are eating only. We are all working, and this man or this stomach is eating only. Then they destroy just like the capitalist and the worker. The worker undergo strike, no more work. So all these linked parts of the body, they observe striking, and after two, three days, when again they met, they talk amongst themselves, say, so why you are becoming weak? Huh? You cannot work now. The legs also say, yes, I am also feeling weak. And so on. So what is the cause? Huh? The cause, then the stomach says, because I am not eating. Huh? See, if you want to remain strong, then you must give me peace. Otherwise, so I am the anger. You are not anger. You are to supply things for my enjoyment. That is your position. So they understood, yes, we cannot directly enjoy, it is not possible. It, the enjoyment must be through the stomach. If take one rasgulla, you, the fingers, you cannot enjoy. You give it to the mouth, and when it goes to the stomach, there is immediately energy. Not only the fingers enjoy, the eyes and all other parts, they feel satisfaction and strength also. Similarly, the real enjoyer is Krishna. Krishna says, Bhokkāraṁ jantura-vasāṁ sarva-lūkaṁ ahinsaraṁ śrīdāṁ sarva-bhūtānāṁ jñātyāmāṁ śānti mīcchati. There after śānti, peacefulness, peace of the mind, the very śānti, they are working hard day and night to get peace of the mind. No, that is not possible. How it is possible? 
just try to understand three things only. Then you'll get something. What is that? Krishna says that I am the enjoyer. You are not the enjoyer. Nobody is the enjoyer. If you understand this, that Krishna is the enjoyer. One. Out of the three items, one. Bhokta. Everyone in this material world, they are, everyone is trying to become enjoyer. The first class enjoyer, number one enjoyer. But it is not possible. Nobody can enjoy. So, only Krishna is the enjoyer, and if we cooperate with Krishna through his enjoyment, we can enjoy. This is our position. So this is real knowledge. Every rascal is trying to become enjoyer. This is material one. Everyone is after sensor. In the so-called prakriti, O man, the propensity is to enjoy purusha. Therefore, here in this material world, even though a O man is dressed like a O man, his mind is purusha. He wants to see on Sanjyavar. Here, the O man once a man, uh, although superficially it is supposed the man is enjoyer, the woman is enjoyer, but actually the woman also wants to enjoy the man. That is uh, maya. The prakriti cannot enjoy, become purusha. <coughs> so, in the Bhagavad Gita, the living entities are described as prakriti. Aparayam itastu vidhime prakritim para jiva bhuta mahabaho jayetam dhajate jala. So the Mahavadi philosophers, <coughs> they do not know the secret. They want to become God, Inga. Our philosophy is different. We do not wish to become enjoyer. We want to be enjoyed. That is our real position. We want to serve Krishna. We want to offer everything to Krishna. We do not want to enjoy anything ourselves. That is Vaishnavism. So here there are <coughs> in the material world there are so many universities <coughs> and economic development plans, but all these last years they do not know who is enjoy, who is enjoy and who is enjoy the business. They think that we are enjoy. Every nation, every community, every man is traveling are enjoy. This is karma. We get a certain type of body to fulfill our certain type of desire. The, yesterday evening we are talking with that cardinal. So when I say that if you eat meat like animals, uh, like the tigers or the fox, then Krishna will give you the facility to become next life a tiger and fox and cat and dog like that. These are stated. This is not my man- manufacturing work. These are you'll find. Uh, you are human being. You must uh, act like a human being. Uh, for human being, this Bhagavad Gita is there. Krishna is instructing him to a human being or doom, not a cat, not a dog. So, knowledge means it is meant for the human being, not for the cats and dogs. 
Laws means it is meant for the human being. Laws means you should do this, you should not do this. This is law, a state law or any law, nature's law, everywhere. So, human being, for human being, Krishna is advising patram pusmam phalam toyam jomi bhakta pujitsati because every human being must be a devotee of Krishna. That is his first business. So for a devotee, Krishna says patram pusmam phalam toyam jomi bhakta pujitsati. This is the order. Therefore, next uh, sloka is called Bhagavan Vaj. Bhagavan Vaj means Bhagavan the Supreme Lord, the Supreme Person, the Supreme Opulent, His order. And we are servants, we are predominated, we are not predominated. Therefore it is our duty to abide by the orders of the Supreme Personality of God. And that is called religion. Religion does not mean the so-called rituals. Uh, that is, uh, formalities, they are also required, but the real purpose of religion is to abide by the orders of the Supreme Personality. That is religion. Uh, religion means to abide by the orders of Krishna or God. That is religion. So you may become, uh, you may be a Christian, you may be a Mahavidyan, you may be a Hindu or Buddhist, it doesn't matter whatever you may be. Whether you are abiding by the orders of God, very good. Not that uh, God or God's representative says, thou shalt not kill, and I go on killing in the shelter house. And when I am asked so why I am killing, I give some my interpretation of my own. This rascal term is very Nobody is religious. Because nobody is following the orders of God. Neither anybody. Mancha bhakti in a Krishna says that I know past, present, future, everything. That is confirmed in the Sumad Bhagavatam. Janmardasya Jataha Annayati Tata Dasya Arthesu Avigya. Avigya means one who knows. And Krishna confirms it. Yes, I know past, present, future, everything. That is Krishna, that is God. <coughs> Therefore, His order is supreme. So we have to follow His order. That is real religion. Purusha. Purusha is giving order. Just in an ordinary dealing in our family affairs. The husband gives order. Uh, why? Uh, you should manage like this. You should do like this. Uh, similarly, prakriti, we are all prakriti. We are abide by the orders of the Supreme. Therefore, Arjun is asking the, what is that sound? Arjun is asking the Supreme Personality of Godhead, you teach me. That is perfect teaching. If you learn something from Krishna or from his representative, that is perfect. <coughs> that is perfect knowledge. All other knowledge, that you gather, that cannot be perfect. Because unless you are perfect, how you can give perfect knowledge? So every one of us is imperfect because we have got imperfect senses. So with imperfect knowledge, just like the so-called scientists, philosophers, they propose their theories, I think it may be like this, perhaps, these are not knowledge. This is all nonsense. Uh, you must speak definitely. If you know, uh, just like the Shastra says, 
జలజాలములు కాని దేవు నాయకుడు నైన్ హండ్రెడ్ థౌజండ్ స్పీసీస్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ విత్ ఇన్ ది వాటర్ వై ఇఫ్ యూ సే అబౌట్ నైన్ ల్యాక్స్ నో నైన్ ల్యాక్స్ not about moral less no not like that that is not ah that is a perfect jalajaramulu khani sthavara lok vinshati and the trees plants they are two million never says approximately maybe perhaps no this is all nonsense we don't accept such no Uh, but the, in the material world, these things are going on. Any rascal will give some theory that will be accepted and he will be given offered Nobel Prize. Uh, so that is condemned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Savai Varaha Ustrai Ustrakharai Samasuta Purusa Pasu. Uh, so, according to Bhagavad Reaction, these Nobel Prize winners, are exactly like dogs, camels, hogs, Savir Varaha, Ustra, and asses. And they are praised by similar animals. That's all. Uh, the Nobel Prize winner and the Nobel Prize giver, both of them are like dogs, hogs, animals, and asses. That's all. This is fact. If a person has written some theory, evolution of chemicals, and all rubbish things, it is very nice thing for these so-called dogs and camels. But those have got eyes to see, one who has heard from Krishna, he will understand this is nonsense. How from chemicals you can produce life? When he is asked, Well, sir, if I give you these chemicals, can you produce life? Immediately say, that I cannot say. Why? It is actually happened in California University. One big professor came lecture and he said that by, by combination of these four chemicals, life is, has begun. So one of our students, he is also doctor in chemistry, he asked immediately, sir, if I give you all these chemicals, whether you can produce life? And the answer was, that I cannot say. <laughs> why? That I cannot say. Then why you are proposing all this nonsense? If you do not know definitely, now we are trying in future, you see. So this is why, in future. Uh, but it is common saying, Trust no future, have at present. Why future? Now what you have learned, speak that. Uh, therefore, uh, Arjuna is asking, not to a third class so-called philosopher and chemist and economist, but to Krishna. Uh, Krishna. Because whatever answer Krishna will give, that is fact. And Shastra means the things which have been spoken by Krishna. That is Shastra. And Guru means who speaks. Uh, uh, guru means who speaks on behalf of Krishna. Sadhu Shastra Guru. So Krishna is asked and the answers for Krishna which he gave, that is final. No experiment, no future. Whatever answer he gives, that's fine. Otherwise, why people read Bhagavad Gita so carefully? Not now. Uh, thousands of years. Uh, thousands of years. Not only in India, in other countries also. Uh, so, answers, real answers are there. Uh, so this chapter, thirteen chapter, is very important chapter. Uh, <coughs> So many rascals are there, they are talking, so many things. But if you want a real answer, uh, that is described by Krishna uh, to the sixth uh, post-tense, Krishna immediately answers 
uh, in that cell. Uh, the first question was, profiting purusha jaiva. Profiting purusha will be answered later on. The first answer he gave, idam sari idam kumtiya. Khetra. Khetram iti avidiyate. You want to learn what is the field of activities. Uh, field of activities is not the football ground. This body is filled of activity. When I desire to play in the field, football ground, then I go to the football ground. But real desire is uh, manufactured within. The idam we we are having different types of body because we want to work differently. Uh, that is the plan. I ask so many people. Uh, they say, God has created this world. That's fact. But as soon as we ask, why He has created this world? Why He has created this universe? What is the purpose? They cannot understand. They cannot be very good. They do not know imperfect knowledge. But anything you do, Anything, uh, especially, uh, suppose if you uh, construct a very nice house, so I can ask you, what is the purpose of constructing the nice house? Uh, you will say that it is for residential purpose, uh, either we shall decide or I shall rent it. Uh, it is meant for residential purpose. Uh, Similarly, uh, why this uh, cosmic manifestation of this universe, not only one universe, millions of universes, material world is not, not very small. Uh, material world is only one-fourth manifestation of the whole creator. And that one-fourth, you can't see no situ java, Krishna says, the whole material world is only one fourth creation. Uh, what is that one fourth creation? Uh, that is replied in the Brahma Sangha. Jasa Prabha Prabhavatu Jagadanda Koti. Jagadanda Koti. When Krishna, you have seen Krishna's, uh, what is called Aryam? Aryam, yes. So that is Prabha, Krishna's Prabha. Uh, so that's why the sun has got a sign, simply Krishna has got. So it is borrowed from Krishna's uh, sign. So Jasya Prabha Prabhavatu Jagadanda Koti. Jagadanda means this inward. There are uh, millions, Koti. And each inward, Jagadanda Koti, Jasya Prabha Prabhavatu Jagadanda Koti, Koti Su. Asesa Vasudhari Vindam. And each universe, there are uh, innumerable planets. This is material creation. 